Hi folks and thank you for spending some time with me today. I'm Tom Peterson, one of the sales associates here at Guarini RV Centers. I'm proud to do a video presentation for you today on this Jayco product. It's a 2018 called an X19 and that is going to be a hybrid and what that means is that you have the benefits of a travel trailer dimensionally, uh, size-wise inside, you've got the hard walls, you've got a regular travel trailer and the ends open up with the fabrics that are going to give you an opportunity to have more sleeping and uh, more space inside without having to have a bigger footprint when you're towing it down the road. It's going to be an ultralight trailer, so it's going to be really, really nice to have for many of the SUVs of today and smaller uh, capacity vehicles. And you're going to be able to haul a lot of the family, you're going to have a lot of room, and also the versatility of a hybrid trailer is that the ends fold out, they don't slide in and out, they're very easy to do, they're very user friendly, not hard on your back and shoulders and all that and knees, you get the benefit of having a design in here where it has a cable. And you can kind of see a little bit of that, but basically there's an inside cable you might see when we're in there. And that presets it so that when your trailer is level, your beds are level. And it's easy to do. It's also fully insulated, so when you look at the way the walls are made here, on this part of it, you also have that same material that's going to be benefiting you when you close them in. So if you go somewhere and you really want to, uh, uh, you know, test it out, you can, um, you can have it all opened up. If the furnace isn't keeping up comfortable for you, go ahead and put in one end or both ends if you really need to. If the weather changes to an extreme cold situation and you feel uncomfortable, uh, you can have both of those in and still make a bed out of the uh, couch in the booth. And I'll show you that here. We'll start on the inside and then we'll uh, go ahead and show you some things on the outside as well. We can kind of start over here in the, uh, the master area. Ch primarily you'll have a nice big area to sleep in here up front and uh, it makes into looks like about a full-size queen area so you get a big big bed for your master sleeping and uh, again the situation is you have one rod you put up here and you push out the end piece that's pre-attached so it's really really easy there's not a lot of parts and pieces hanging around so that makes it beneficial and it keeps it all up there you have a full waterproof on the roof areas that wrap around and uh, it makes it really nice with that vinyl uh, coated canvas to make it wear extremely well and look really nice for you years down the road. You don't want something that's going to look tacky after a couple years of being in the desert or being in a climate like that. It's going to wear extremely well. What I have in the main living area, there's no slide out so you don't deal with any of that kind of thing. It's kind of nice. It's a full eight foot wide ultralight, not narrower. And you've got a booth here to sit at and it's got a table that sits on the uh, two legs here so it's nice and rigid but you can sit comfortably there. Uh, snug four adults but sit a family of four and you've got this jackknife sofa bit here <clears throat> so I can go ahead and bring that up and down real quick if I wanted to and make that into a nice extra sleeping so like I mentioned before you know if you did get into an extreme situation you could uh, you know you could change what you're doing to keep it warmer in here especially if it's just a couple and uh, you want to do that and maybe one child or two you can close off that back end over there which is also a nice big bed we'll show you and that would then allow you to, to heat this up uh, much faster if you have to have the master bed open. So again, looking at inside this trailer, you've got lots of cupboard space. So they try to give you really uh, a large amount of overhead cabinets that you'll have on this door side here where the kitchen's at. So you see all of that. You're also going to have a little bit of a different design now. They're mortise and tenon cabinet joints now, so they're really the best joins and really good for that design of longevity. It also has a nice newer color. They're lightening things up a little bit, um, and some people just don't like those real dark colors. So you're going to have a stereo system here, which is going to be a complete system that will be able to run your um, DVD player and all that stuff that you have from a TV that's right here on my right, your left. So, and again, it's a really good size TV that can move around. So, you know, if you want to be able to see it from other, other areas, um, it might have a dual locking system, which it just got you know, delivered here, but that will rotate around. So you'll be able to see that from multiple areas in the home. And uh, you'll see here where the dinette is, a real large living uh, window that you can also open up 
that little portion of it down there in the rain so you can get ventilation not have water pouring in. These here that are on the awning side are a large 50-50 type window with screens and of course if your awning's there you can open these up wide. If it does happen to rain you'll have protection on that side there. The actual canvas behind me uh, I meant to mention as well they have zippers you see on there and those of course will open up with screens and so therefore you can have a lot more light and a lot more airflow for those really wonderful summer nights and, uh, and, and uh, you know, early uh, fall evenings where you want to be able to get that nice warm air coming through and maybe smell the pine or the ocean, you know, uh, uh, air out there would be another nice thing to do too as well. In here on my uh, right, we're going to have, looks like a, a closet space, so that'll have a hanging rod there so you can put some nice uh, shirts and such inside there. The actual refrigerator here is going to be where you can uh, see it's a nice large uh, refrigerator so it'll be a six cubic foot you got a separate freezer there and that'll be a nice uh, addition to have you're gonna have another little drawer here which will really help too as well on a full extension so that comes all the way out gives you a lot more space to put things in there as well as we look around here to the uh, bathroom area you're gonna have a corner shower so it's a pretty good size room um, in, in there and height and everything. I stood in there and my head was, went just a little bit inside the little skylight there so I think it, certainly I can make it work uh, for a guy my size and then uh, you'll have your, your excuse me, toilet and then your area we showed you with a little medicine cabinet and a nice sink there so again fully self-contained trailer it's a dry bathroom as opposed to some of the smaller hybrids you might get into a wet bath situation where you're actually showering and toileting all that in one area and it's kind of can be not as comfortable so in here you still have a double sink in this small trailer and you've got some counter space right in this area a window for ventilation more overhead storage again I saw I showed you the three over there and you've got another three over here that's nice as well the microwave is easy to get to there the oven you have below and your three burner stove and more drawers you have in this kitchen area too that come way out so you can't really get enough drawer space I know it's really nice to have a lot of that as we go back over here you'll kind of be able to the uh, camera will be able to show you the bed area there there's also some storage here so you want to see that of course give me a call at the number you see at the end for any more details that you want to know about this particular trailer but as you go back over here it's actually quite a big bed I would say it's probably a queen size as well and again I can get you exact dimensions and whatever if you have any concerns the same simple design for putting it out uh, again that cable is really user friendly when it comes to doing it you know with a hybrid trailer you don't want it to be a pain. Anytime you go camping, you want to spend your time out there enjoying the, the camping experience with your family and what have you. You don't want to be in there taking so long to set up. So these are very immediate and easy to deal with. As we go outside, I'll show you that uh, they'll have this back area here like I did on the front to kind of show you how simple it was. That's the cable design that keeps it level. So again, once you get it level, and then again, folding it in and putting it up is very easy to do. Um, if any of you want to see that, you can call me on the number at the end of the video and I can actually show you in another source as well of how easy it is to put those in and out so you don't have to wonder or guess how long it's going to take. As we go around the far side here, Jayco's been around for, you know, pretty much almost as long as Guarantee RV Center has been around. It's a long time, you know, we've been here 51 years, they've been here about that same time. And they like to build products that have a very strong roof, roof structure. Uh, they're, they also have a two-year warranty, which is twice of what the average out there is. Most of the companies are one year. And so them backing what they do for two years tells you a lot about Jayco. It's been a great company for us, and uh, they do a great job for our clients. This right here would be a black tank flush is what that's for. So you can hook a hose up to that and uh, you know time it for when you're dumping the black tank and everything, and that will help to flush that out. It's got a sprayer inside. The custom wheels look nice on there. They also now are putting Goodyear tires on much of their product. And the benefit to you is that you can get serviceability across the nation and a lot of folks like to camp and travel distances from where they live. And it's nice to have that uh, protection of that warranty from Goodyear, this is mostly Goodyear dealers all across the United States. This is going to be an outside hot and cold shower here. Of course, you see your fill water here and your city water connection with that hose, and then your, uh, your water fill tank for that so you have it in there when you're uh, private camping. You have a battery that will run and pressurize that system inside. Hot water heater we have here, and again, as we get back towards the front, there's going to be a uh, uh, a little bit of uh, lighting in there, which is LED lights you'll see across there, the little bulbs. And there's also a little LED light right here with the power uh, uh, hitch jack here that you can um, 
make it a lot easier to pull it up and down and be able to have that extra light for when you're hooking and unhooking your hitch. Uh, I tell you, one thing about uh, Guarantee RV Centers, we've been around for, you might have heard, 51 years, long time. I've been there 27 of those years. I love what I do. It's a lot of fun. The times right now to buy an RV is still very, very affordable, and we have so much inventory at Guarantee. We do a high volume and really good prices on that uh, is a benefit to you as a consumer. If you have any more questions about this hybrid trader here and anything that we carry at Guarantee, again, I can help you with those questions. Uh, call the number you see at the end of this video. And once again, remember at Guarantee RV Centers in Junction City, it's an RV show every day.